Hi there, uh, my name is Jerry Hunt and I'm back to talk to you a little bit more about Chicago Blues Mandolin. Uh, one of the questions that I've been asked is uh, about how to play in different keys. Uh, most mandolin players, uh, when they're learning blues, are pretty comfortable in G, but then um, advancing beyond that is, is sort of a, a mystery or a challenge. Uh, hopefully I can demystify that a little bit. Um, the way that I think about that is simply, as I mentioned in an earlier video, this is kind of home base for me, this G7 chord. And what I do from there is if I want to play in C, I move everything uh, up a string to here. Now I'm in C. And all the licks that I know in G apply here uh, at the, in the same pattern as they would in G uh, because all the string intervals on the mandolin are the same. Now what I'm talking about is this. So we're back at G. We play that kind of lick there. We move everything over and keep in mind that this was all within this kind of home bass here in G. To play that in C, all I have to do is move everything over here, and all the notes are right there. It's the same pattern, but we're in C now. And so by extension, all the licks that you may know in G will fit pretty nicely in C. Now it'll take some experimentation and a little bit of... Uh, you know, improvisation to figure out how to fit in some licks using that top E string, but just to get you started anyway, you can play a lot of those G licks right here as long as you start with this home bass chord. Now, to play in D, it's sort of the same thing, except you go the opposite way on the fretboard. Up here. Your home bass is right here, this D7. And you can play that same lick. So all the, again, similar licks uh, translate there in that position. Now it gets a little bit more tricky when you start moving up to E and A. And to do that, I basically take G and move it up two frets, and now I'm in A. So here's home bass again. And because I'm in relative, I'm in the same place on the fretboard, but I'm just two frets up, I can play all those G licks again. You know, and that'll get you started in the key of A. Now the cool thing is you have some open strings to mess around with, and that'll just, that'll be, and there are some things that you can do in A that you can't do in some other keys like that lick for instance but again that's just uh, you know a basis for improvisation experimentation and perhaps a future lesson now to move up to E same kind of logic except you move over now you're in D you want to move up to E up two frets and there you are again that same lick except now you're in E And it's important to know how to play in A and E because all the guitar players and everything want to be there because that's what's easy for them. So, um, the the one other thing that you can do when you're when you're in D right here, if you notice we were in C before, if you move up two frets from C, you're in D again. Well, now you have. Uh, a lower register to play all that those D licks in instead of just sticking up here all the time. I mean Johnny Young just stayed up here a lot of the time and it worked and it worked just fine for him. So you, you could definitely do that, but if you want to expand a little bit, you can kind of work off of this as your home base.
So there's some tips on playing in different keys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.